Ladies and birds and gentlemen and oxen, welcome to the internet. I'll be your host, 1712 of the third year of man. I'm pretty sure I probably just blacked out there. Anyway, that was just a bunch of nonsense. So uh, for real, though, we're doing a modern cube draft here, and I hope you guys are uh, hope you guys are ready for the the action, the the sweet sweet action. Jackson Beaston with four months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. Welcome back. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Muscular, not bonular. That is correct. That's what you're looking out for. You're looking out for them bonulars. Actually, you want it to be muscular. Muscular is fixable. Bonular. It's just bad news. That's bad juju, as the kids say. I'm tempted to take this Aurelia. I don't know how aggressive the... I See, I want to know... I don't know how balanced the cube w was made after the changes. Like, they just like, hey, let's throw in Aurelia. Let's throw in Eldest Reborn. Let's throw in Expansion Explosion, right? But I don't know if those actually fit into any existing archetypes. And I don't know if I'm going to get tempted by this Aurelia, but then not have a black, a red-white frame that she could fit into. My other friend Frank had a bonular back issue and it was really, really bad. Oh, yeah, bonular is bad. Muscular is good because muscle usually heals a lot easier than bone because I don't, usually bone doesn't, that's not, bones are bad news bears. It's also Primeval Titan. I don't really feel like I should want to take a Primeval Titan again, but I also do feel like I want to take a Primeval Titan again. So what do you do in that situation? When you really want to take a Primeval Titan, just take it. I'm going to highlight it, and then if nobody stops me from taking it, I'll just probably just take it. Anybody? Anybody going to stop me? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's what I thought, nerds. Got him. Got him. All the nerds. Can we just do Primeval Titan and Frexy Metamorph? See, none of you. You were all too late. You were all too late. And I, I, while I sympathize with you, I don't feel bad for you. And the Shadows, who has not been here in a while, said prime time, and that's what I'm going with. That was a... That was a, uh, a primetime honorary pick. Honorary? Is that the word I'm looking for? I draft the same thing as last time, Stip. That's a good one. Uh, I do like Master. Uh, this, this pack is actually very good. I like a lot of things in this pack. I think Metamorph is stronger than Master, but I don't think by much. I don't know if I want to go Chain Whirler into Primeval Titan, especially not in the cube. I don't know if this guy is super... See, again, like I don't know if this guy's super strong... Like, if you had a bunch of token archetypes, this is a great answer for them. But I don't know if that's true. I haven't been here in a while either, and I got... Josh, you actually hadn't been here for a while. I didn't even... I, like, I realized it, but, like, it didn't actually kick in. But I was like, wow, I haven't seen Josh in ages. Where have you, where have you been? I'm very... I'm actually curious. Tell me all about your life. Stay a while and listen. That's Deckard Kane. Did you guys you guys know Deckard Kane? I'm gonna take this fertile ground. No other card in here really compels me to take uh, any other color, and I also want to be able to play these guys as fast as possible. And it's better than a signet. I like Doom Whisper. I like Jace Friend's Prodigy, and I like Vanishing Light. But I was on vacation. But did you you don't have computers in where, where you're vacationing? Because I you know I was still streaming. I don't know, man. Maybe you know maybe it's me. I don't know. I was just streaming though, so I was still here. So it's just, it's weird to me that, like, you weren't here, but I was here. So it's kind of like, well, I, you know, I was still here. I didn't go anywhere. So I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's the internet where you were. Unbelievable. I do like a Blood Braid Elf. I think if I was going to take a red card, though, I'd probably take Zill's Conscripts. I'm pretty much... I think Zealous Conscripts is stronger. I bet Tatiova comes back. And that would be nice. I'm going to take the Nissa and think that the Tatiova comes back. That's going to be what I'm... That's what we're... That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right here. Taking a Nissa, Wheeling a Tatiova. Dogs and cats. Living together. Mass Hysteria. Take a Selim to Garcus Command, and then we're just basically Sultai. I 
I like it's, I think Thrunner disallow is the pick here. Although Pact Navigation is a real got him. Apparently it's the belligerent. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, I got a little I got I mean we could just take Thrun, be safe. I wanna do that. I don't want I don't wanna be gumming up my, my deck with double blue cards just yet. I do like a Seagate Oracle because it tur it's it's a single blue. It's just one blue. But also, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. It gives you a little card selection, which green is not often prone to having. I'm going to take Seagate Oracle. Nimble Obstructionist. I like that as just a 3-1 flyer or a counter spell. And the only thing else I would care about is Treetop Village. Whoa, Progenitor Mimic is... This is one of my favorite cards that I don't get to play frequently enough. Um, the card is just kind of ridiculous, right? Like, it's a clone for 6 mana. But it's a clone that makes another copy every single turn, so... That's pretty good. Uh, green doesn't do green. Green doesn't do card advantage. I think that's what I was implying. But I think that's less true in cube. Like where we have, we literally have Primeval Titan, Master of the Wild Hunt in our hand in our deck. So. Wow, the Aurelia came back, so I'm kind of glad I didn't take it, because it's clearly not a high priority for anybody. That's kind of funny. All of the white-black cards. Look at this Mardu deck. Mirror Crusader, Deck and Stone, Soren, the good Soren, Erebos, and Aurelia. I'm probably just going to take Whirler Rogue, because if we are blue, we could potentially play it. Oh, playing Carnage Siren and Mimic is utterly insane, especially because both of them have, 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 have Hexproof, so that you're like, well, I can't really kill either of them. I really want this Venser, but I also just want the Lumbering Falls because it is a land that helps us cast the other things. Duplicant is a good dude. However, it's not looking like Tatiova is coming back, which is kind of weird. I like this over... Uh, wow, the Bloodbraid Elf and the Sphinx's Rev came back. I'll take Sphinx's Rev. We can probably splash it off of a white somewhere. Or we can just take Bloodbraid Elf. We can splash it off a red somewhere. This is, these are the questions we ask ourselves. Also, yeah, if you guys haven't done so, check out the new Freshly Brewed. I need to, I need to buy FreshlyBrewedPodcast.com and use that as my domain name. Not use it as my domain. I'm going to just I'll link you guys to it. There you go. Yeah, take this guy. Mm. I did want to take Sphinx's Revelation, actually. I really did. My issue was that it's double blue and a white, so it's like it's two splash colors, whereas Bloodbraid Elf is actually pretty good in our deck right now because we really have nothing that we don't mind hitting. If we go 3-2 into a 3-1 flyer or into a Seagate Oracle, that's very good value. Are you a Duplicant or a Duplicant? Ooh, a Rashmi. Ooh, a Bribbery. This pack is great for us. I think there's a couple things that are going to come back. Sword is good. Phantasm Mage is good. Rattleclaw Mystic is great. I think we want the Bribbery 100%. Big Bribs, as uh, as the kids say. Yeah, I'm always going to take. Bribery is a card you'll... Oh, I like a Time Warp as well. We're playing the Alliantrazi special here. If Noble Hierarch comes back, I'd be very grateful. I don't think we need a Worm Coil. We already have three six drops. One of which is good at removing this guy. I'm going to take the Time Warp because I'm just a big fan of taking turns. Especially if we can go, like, even if we just go five mana Time Warp, six mana Primeval Titan. Like, that's still a, a Time Warp well spent to regain the initiative of the game. You and I'm also, I'm also a sucker for, uh, for that's for body and mind specifically. Like, that is, that is my, my sort of choice. However, uh. I think there were just, well, I mean, there's nothing even close to Crater Hoof in this pack. I think it's, I think if we have a choice between these two, I'm going with this guy because this has a repeatable ability that other cards also have, whereas like Crater Hoof, hmm, does not. 
<laughs> well, Chris, see, once we saw the bribery, I was like, well, see, this is a card I'm, I'm getting into double blue for. Oh, Breeding Pool is, is muy bueno. That's muy bueno. I'm going to take the... I'm going to take that boy. Also, Whirler Rogue is quite playable now that we have Craterhoof Behemoth. We can also take the Steam Vents here and play the Bloodbraid Elf off it, which is kind of nice. I like Kiora. I've, I mean, Kiora is actually pretty reasonably easy to make uh, Krakens with. Uh, I think this is probably one of the, the Planeswalkers I've ultimated with the most. Been watching since the good old days of TCG Player. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Sanctus, thank you for saying so. Appreciate the support. Can we cast Bloodbird Elf any other way other than with mana? It's unlikely. That's usually what I default to. Mana. Uh, this pack only has Terastodon for us. But I think that's good enough. I would like some some cheap dudes. Rex Sage is great. As you can see from last game where we wanted Acidic Slime and uh, Night of Autumn. I guess this is a good reason to keep Rex Sage in the cube. Because, like, I don't want to have to play white, so... Seachrome and Razor Ridge and Copper Gorge. And I'll, another six drop. I think it's just Copper Gorge. Copper Line Gorge, rather. I don't like Mimic Vat in our green deck, in a, in a green deck like this, because you don't really have ways to kind of control what happens with the Mimic Vat. Like, you don't have a lot of removal spells. I like Mimic Vat in, like, blue or black control decks where you can... Not, not blue, but, like, white or black control decks. Uh, where you can play the Mimic Vat and then kill their best guy to put it under Mimic Vat. Whereas, like, here, if you don't have a way to kill a guy, it's a really easy... Wow. Yeah, I'm just taking the sword now. Uh, it's really easy for the opponent to kind of control what goes under the Mimic Vat. And what doesn't, for that matter. Yeah, this is what I mean. People just don't have respect for the sword, and uh, it's not okay. I like Sovereign, uh, Sky Sovereign, because it does hit Planeswalkers, which is nice. And it should be pretty easy to crew in this deck. I don't care about Kira. I think we're just taking this. I might even play it. Overgrown Tomb and Isolated Channel. None of these cards are great for us. I'll take the Flame Slash because we do have uh, a couple red cards, and it's a decent piece of removal. Also, the Tatiova not coming back is still, still tripping me out here. Beast Within is good. I like Beast Within. Master of Waves are probably not going to have a bunch of hits. None of our... We have two cards that actually have blue pips. I'd rather just have this Beast Within. Oh, Kiora came back? That's exciting. Valtrak, I bought bits at a one-for-one one because of the sale. Sorry, I haven't been able to donate much lately. Don't... That's nothing. That's crazy. Starving student problems. I'll try to throw some more bits your way. Hey, anything you do, you, anything you throw me, I, I totally appreciate. Keep keep your focus on this on the schoolins, and uh, really appreciate the support, buddy. Don't even worry about it. Thank you so much. Anytime you guys donate or or throw bits at me or subs at me, I really really appreciate it. This is my source of income, basically. Uh, so you're definitely helping me out. But if you can't, don't even worry about it. I love you guys anyway. Despite that this is a for-profit stream, for-profit, for, 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 hmm, talking something. That's, those are some words. Those are some words he's saying. We only have one two-drop, which is a little bit off-putting right now. I might just want the Elvish Mystic over the Garrick Wildspeaker here. Marbler, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I love Garrick, but I think I love having ways to ramp into three-drops even more. Poor Shroff at Freem, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'll have to excuse all the friggin' marbles in my mouth, I guess. 
Um, I like Mana Leak. I don't love Utopia Sprawl, even though it is a ramp card, because it just... Like, you've seen the situations where you need a forest. I think I'd rather have Scalding Tarn, because it hits both Breeding Pool and Steam Vents here, which is great for us. I've been following watching since lurking for a couple of years over a couple different accounts. I really respect the way you treat people who watch your stream. Hey, Syracuse, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. I try to... Uh, I try to be all right. Can't be all right all the time, but I definitely try to uh, make that my default mode. Appreciate you saying so. What flavor are said marbles? Looking for recommendations. I haven't found any uh, any reasonable flavored marbles. Those are just called candy. Marble candy. I probably just want repeal here. It's a nice little piece of interaction. This is a this is a gristle gristle brand, all right. I feel like this cube isn't really super equipped to have a gristle brand because you, there's not many ways to discard it. So you can see gristle brand going around late because people are like, well, "What am I going to do with this? I don't even know." I don't want is it charm because I don't want, I don't want to go too deep on the red. We could also definitely just play the flame slash. That is an option. What are the green cards at? What are you guys doing? Just take a mana confluence. I could see that being all right. Dude, how much life gain do we have? Not much. And by that I mean zero. Like we're not, we're barely a crater hoof deck here. I could see spell piercing. Actually, spell pierce seems pretty good. Uh, I don't think we want to nick this. We actually don't have that many permanents, to be quite honest, that are going to really help us out. Master and Thrun are like two of the only permanents. Beast Within is not great. Reclamation Sage is not great. These guys are not great. I would take the Confluence sooner just because it helps us splash, but I'm also leaning towards spell pierce because I think it's just pretty solid because it counters all the Planeswalkers. This is one of my favorite Planeswalkers. I'm going to take this Ral. We're gonna. I think we're we're leaning towards some kind of like teamer control deck, which I'm pretty okay with. I like this Vizier of Many Faces. I also just like Everflowing Chalice to ramp. <sighs> I think it's Chalice here. We already have. Did we actually take the Metamorph? No. That was like a different that was a different time. We also have a lot of planeswalkers. I'm gonna take Chalice here. I think it's just more important. We have no two drops. You basically told me the game back around the first initial with your YouTube channel. I quit for a while and now that I'm coming back. I get excited only for you and MJ Stream. Figured it was time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That is good to hear. Why do you say it weird like that? I don't know. Just how he talks. What are you gonna do? It might be Nature's Claim, although we do have Rex Sage, so I'm actually leaning towards like a Pyroclasm or a Fire Spout. We don't actually have a bunch of guys that die to these cards. Um, Fire Spout's also good against random flyers, but Pyroclasm is a little more versatile. But you need red to cast both, but you can cast Fire Spout without red. I'm going to take the Fire Spout. Oh, Valtrek, you can definitely do that. That would be awesome. And uh, you can check the check my Twitch profile and my um, I, I guess it's just Twitch profile. Ha 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 ha. Usually I charge thirty five for steps, but like obviously it's negotiable. I don't ever want to price someone out of a cool a cool draft like that. But it's mostly because you guys are helping me out and you're you're supporting the channel. That's mostly what it's there for. Um, I'm gonna take Incinerate over Battle Sphere because we don't need a Battle Sphere. Stomping Ground. That's a nice little. We'll pick up there. Look at this. Gristle Brand tabled. What? Why are you still here? Don't you don't you know where you live? Ah, I like Spellskite. That's fine. Actually, our mana base is pretty decent. We have Lumbering Falls, Steam Vents, Stomping Ground, Copperline Gorge, Scalding Tarn, and Breeding Pit. Breeding Pool, not Breeding Pit. Breeding Pit is something different. Wow, Pyroclouds can be back too, so we actually didn't have to choose there. That's nice. Yeah, that's the thing. So you're seeing Gristlebrand like table because there's no real reanimator strategy. Like the only thing you have is like, I think you have Unbarrow Rights and I think you also have Liliana Death's Majesty. But like, 
So not only are you hindered with your reanimation options, you're also hindered with ways to get him into the graveyard. Thank you. Snarky Sura, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Someday I'll remember when my Amazon sub runs out, but it was not, but not this day. But not today. What do we say to the Amazon Twitch Prime sub running out? Not today. All right. I don't know if we're a Crater Hoof deck, which feels really weird to say. But we're kind of like a control deck here. God, it's so weird. I think I like our deck, though. I think our deck looks cool. Like, we have lots of Planeswalkers. We have a Bloodbraid Elf, which doesn't hit anything but Spell Pierce. So I think I'm actually going to take this out and put it in the sideboard. And now, oh, an Everflowing Chalice. Oh, it's going to hit that every time, I bet. I think we're okay with that. I think we're going to let it... Oh, we can also hit a Nissa for zero. Crying out loud. Bloodbraid Elf, you a real piece of shit. I want to run it like this nonetheless. I think it's fine. So what are our odds here? We have, like, two cards we don't want to hit and four cards we do with the Bloodbraid... Oh, actually, no, we have all these. Never mind. I'm, I'm dumb. Yeah, okay, this is totally... This is totally better than... Yeah, this deck looks sweet. I'm a fan. We can also board in Fire Spout and Pyroclasm, which is just great because it gives us two ways to deal with things. Flame Slash is also a pretty reasonable main deck we can have here. I don't think I want to cut anything else, though. I really like having Kiora. Also, Sky Sovereign is kind of nice here as well. All right. God, putting Crater Hoof in the sideboard just doesn't feel good, but we already have an 8 drop, and everything's coming up, Millhouse. We have one, two, three, four, five green sources. So this puts us at 11. I'm okay with that. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is totally reasonable. Might even go down to five. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. Yeah, I like that. I think that's good. I never want to draw two mountains is really what it comes down to. I'm ready to die Redwood Aggro too, but hopefully the Pyroclasm, the Flame Slash, and the Fire Spout will help us prevent that. And we can also board in Spellskite for that situation as well. I will keep this hand. I don't love it, but we got answers. We got a sword. We got a titan. All right, it's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Just coughing. Another six drop. Seems good. That's what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for at all. Oh, God. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Kick with multi kicker for win. I also forgot to congratulate you again on that sweet Twitch partner level thing. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, that was a good that was a good deal. When I got that email, I was like <sighs> super exciting. Because I've been obviously trying for it for a long time. It was nice. It was a real nice feeling. Alright, so we can't do much here, but I'm I am tempted to kill this Jace. I don't know if that's good. play a sword here I'm working on ripping the BBE oh bribery oh you biscuit we didn't have a second blue anyway so that actually is helpful and Sky Sovereign yeah Sky Sovereign opening good kills the Jace so we're likely going to hit a land here unfortunately that's usually how it goes I assume they drew that off of the Jace, otherwise they would have flipped it, presumably. You know this question if it's not something you can discuss, but you get more money from bits or donations, are they close enough to the same that doesn't Um I personally get more money from bits because donations um they take a fee out. However, I think there's a way that you can pay the fee. Like if you donate to someone, I'm thinking it says like I think there's an option where you can pay the, the donation fee. 
Um, if you do or not, totally fine. Doesn't matter. But bits, you pay the fee up front through Twitch. So if you buy like 500 bits, it costs you more than $5. But then the streamer gets, if you donate those 500 bits, let's say, the streamer gets all 500. So it's really just a matter of where you place the fee. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think donations, uh, the option exists to have the streamer pay the fee, whereas bits, you're paying the fee up front to Twitch. And that's been Bit Talk 101. <gasps> that's exciting. All right, the only thing we can hit that's not good is Nissa. You ready? Fertile ground. Oh, oh, this is nice. Oh, this is a this is a this is a hit right here, boys. Oh, butter my biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Oh man, the excitement is so real right now. Oh, that was glorious. Uh, how much extra do you get from YouTube Red versus non YouTube? I actually don't know that. That one I don't know. Blood braid buttered biscuits. That's what we're selling here, guys. Noah, way to go on that call, buddy. Really appreciate it. Kesem, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for listening to me. <laughs> Mimic the blood braid elf doesn't do much because Cascade is a cast trigger. And this is just putting a copy on the field. So what did they just do? Wrath of God? Oh, so they have Wrath and... What did I miss? How did they... Ra oh, they flashed it back. Yeah, that's cool. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we just play Primeval Titan here, right? We also play Ral as Advice Roy, but I think I just want the prime time on the board. This feels better when they don't have Counterspell Man up. <clears throat> I just want you to cascade a lot. You and me both. Lumbering Falls is great with a sort of body in mind. In case you guys were unaware of that. I actually feel like we're in really good shape here. <clears throat> so what if I try to equip this guy? What are you going to do then? What are you going to do if I do that? So I like that you're going to do something here because we can play a land. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Activate Lumbering Falls and equip it. Which is pretty big game. This is totally fine. Let that resolve. So we're going to go blue, green, three, four, activate you, hex proof. And I will mill you for another 10, putting you to two cards in your library. I will not care about Jace the Mind Sculptor. And that'll do it. Woo! Sword of Body and Mind is a real card, ladies and gentlemen. Admiral, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure, Moan Frere. Always a pleasure. All right, so Spell Pierce probably coming in. They have some nonsense here. We have an Incinerate. I don't think we need a Flame Slash as well. Man, that was a that was a game right there. I like this. Boom, forty-one. Noah, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for the Bloodbraid Elf uh, suggestion. I don't love this hand. In fact, I may hate it. I'll keep this. I'll bottom you. Come on, excitement. Oh, man. Surprise Pikachu getting some action here. This is nice. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I 
That's a good card. Scalding Tarn gets a second blue, which is pretty nice. They discarded an Ashiok. I like that. Frank would be able to love this sweet new emoji added. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. What are the morphs in this cube? Does anyone know off the top of their head what morphs there are in the cube? I could look it up, but I don't want people to wait on the stream. I would make my opponent wait to do that. But, like... I don't think they're going to be playing Rattleclaw in this deck, though. Void Mage Prodigy? Is that a thing? Dragon Slayer Guy is a thing. I'll just take two. That's fine. Yeah, it could be Hidden Dragon Slayer. It could also be, yeah, it could be Stratus Dancer. Those are my thoughts as well. I'm going to play you. See what happens. Every morph is Will Bender. Every single one. Oh my god, every time with this Bloodbraid Elf, it's the best, dude. This is some value here. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's good value. I'm also a fan of if them like if they like tap out to to wrath the board, we get to play any one of these or multiple of them, by like time warp bribery or time warp ral. I would like to have ral on the board before I time warp, but you know that's just my. I have a feeling they're gonna wipe the board here. Yep, seems good. And then we just get to play a ral here. Oh, we get to fertile ground into ral. No, we don't. That is sad. Let's get a steam vents because that covers all our bases. With double blue and double red, although we don't have a double red card. Do we just want bribery here? I don't remember what creatures we saw in game one. I guess we can Ral, and then we can Time Warp, and then we can Bribery, right? Um, Forest lets us actually... I like having the Lumbering Falls, though. Uh, I mean, if one of them going to the graveyard, I'll just take the Forest. Or I'll take the Lumbering Falls, play it next turn, play Time Warp, and then we can <clears throat> bribery the following turn. If I Bloodbraid Elf, it'll hit Chalice for zero or Nissa for zero. Bloodbraid Chalice. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. We have, they have, yeah, that's nice. Well, they tapped out, so we do get to go. Oh, well, that's a thing, too. Play you. I'm pretty sure we're just going to bribery here. Metamorph? Torrential Gear Hulk? Did we get hit anything with Torrential Gear Hulk? No. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. Yikes. I kind of just want the Torrential Gear Hulk to hit it. Z Cowan, what's going on, buddy? I'm going to just copy your deck so I can remember what this is. Oh, Metamorph's brutal because I can't copy Planeswalkers here. I I has a sad. God, we get no hits with Gear Hulk. <sighs> Metamorph copies nothing, so it could just be Vents or Bounce your land. I like Clever Impersonator a lot. I think you should have Metamorph, but I also think you should have Clever Impersonator. I don't want to bounce your Teferi because it's already pretty low. Huh, biscuits. I think we just get. F oh, actually, no, they can't tuck it though. Like, your Hulk is a thick boy. Do they have Wrath of God in hand? They do. They have Day of Judgment in hand. Okay, so that's good to know. 
So I'd rather get the value off of Venser. So I'm pretty sure they have Day of Judgment in hand. It was a hidden Dragon Slayer. Good to know. I mean, I don't care about them having Gearhulk right now because they have nothing to hit with it either. So. Jace Vryn's Prodigy. Plus that guy. All right, so we now have planes in hand, too. Fascinating. Three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we're just going to go after the Teferi. Teferino. Okay. Play a fertile ground. <clears throat> we'll play it on the on the mountain though, because we just don't care about that. So we can go fertile ground on mountain. One, two, three, four, five. Five mana. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to end after that. Like, if they're going to have Venser in hand and they have Teferi in hand, I'm not really going to mess around with that nonsense. Um, Spellskite pretty good? Spellskite seems okay. They have a ton of, like, sweepers. They have Terminus, Day of Judgment, and Wrath of God. That is a lot. I think we're good like this. I think our deck is good. We have a lot of Planeswalkers and like Sky Sovereign and Sword of Body Mine and, and Lumbering Falls are all very good against this deck. Um, Yeah, this hand seems great. Turn 3 Nissa is pretty nice against them. Yeah, we could have taken Bribery out. Um, but they do have Jace Vryn's Prodigy, and Torrential Gearhook could be good. Um, yeah, we'll play you. And the next turn we can gorge into Nyssa for three. That is spell pierceable. Scry two. Um put both of these on the bottom. We can actually just keep the chalice and chalice for four. I don't think that's exciting though. Well then, that is fascinating. Let's scry two. We'll put a land under the second card. Well, I don't want to do that now because I want to hit both lands. Or do I? No, I don't. I'm just going to play the land and then play Primeval Titan. And by that, I mean Thorn Lieutenant. So two lands are on the bottom. A chalice is on the bottom. What was the other card? I forgot. When 
that's a thing, isn't it? Was it another forest? It was three, so it's three forests so far in an Everflowing Chalice? That's a lot of things. Alright, we're gonna try to hit good spell land so that next turn we can get the free land. I think this is actually okay. Put on top, put on top of that. That seems fine. I think we can try to do this right now. If they want to counter this, it's fine, but they don't have Silumgar scoring up, so. Just fencer it. That's fine, I still get it. Condescend for three. That's even better. Because now they have no pressure. So, Forest, 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 and Chalice are on the bottom. But they won't be for long. Because we are going to get shuffled. Oh, Katie, what's going on, buddy? Tomato. Well, now we get to play Primeval Titan. That's pretty good. Draw a card for... What the hell? That's fascinating. Don't I just get to kill that now and play a Primeval Titan? <clears throat> That's weird. Um, let's bring in Lumbering Falls and Steam Vents. Sure. That was a weird attack. That was a weird. So you just traded a Tamio for two damage and a card. Interesting. off signet they could just have nothing this game too like it doesn't seem like they're really like you're gonna let me get another hit with primeval titan <clears throat> that's fascinating i'm tempted to activate this we just kill them like i have no reason to to get greedy with the nissa here i'm gonna bottom both of these guys which is really terrible because we're going to shuffle with Primeval Titan. That was really bad. I don't know why we did that. I guess because we're not very good at Magic the Gathering. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. Ult the ultimate wins, but I'm scared. They have Terminus, so they could actually play something during their turn in Terminus. I don't know if that's even a realistic thing that they could do, but... I uh, guess we'll just pump here. One, two, three, four... Five, six, till you twelve. All right. <clears throat> so both these guys are lethal, and Lumbering Falls Incinerate is lethal. Bouncing Nissa. Sure. So if they want to go like Day of Judgment or Wipe the Ward, I want to incinerate their face and then attack with Lumbering Falls. And I guess we don't have to do any of that. Seems good. That's how you win the game. That is how you do it. I'm just going to play it like this. Our deck seems sweet. I agree. Seems like a cool deck. I agree with you. I will play first. I will mulligan this hand. <clears throat> I'll keep this one. This is great. Turn two Thornless and it's a turn three Nissa is pretty much everything you want, especially on the play. Bottom that guy. For now. Sleight of hand again? 
fascinating. If we get another land drop, which is very likely with Nyssa, Master is pretty cool. And we already hit it anyway, so that's all right. I do like the idea of playing Nissa, putting her to three, and then getting a free land next turn if the good if they're if they're both good cards. <clears throat> don't have a counter spell. Oh, you didn't. All right. Good card land. I don't want both lands. Actually, this is perfect. Put you on top. Keep the obstructionist, which is a very good threat against the blue white deck, I imagine. This is also great because we can plus Nissa or zero Nissa rather, and just play bribery now. That's pretty strong. We're gonna likely do that. Yes, this guy. Let's see what you got here. Bribery in the modern cube on turn four seems pretty strong. Glenelinger, Aleshnorn, Ojutai, Glenelinger, Archmage. Wow. What in the biscuits? Whew. Well, that's a thing. I think it's just Dragonlord Ojutai. Could also just be Aleshnorn. They have Blink of an Eye. Keep That's relevant. I'm just going to take Ojutai here. That guy's got... That guy's got Shroud. <coughs> this is like, unless they have Day of Judgment slash Wrath of God. Which they don't have in their deck, so they might have it in their hand. They can't actually deal with this guy. Never don't have it. <laughs> that seems... That's fine. It was still... It's a one for one. There's a two for one, I guess. No, we lost a bribery and a throne lieutenant for a day of judgment, I guess. It's not it's not the best. Let's scry two again. Lumbering Falls Terastodon, huh? Let's keep both of these. Put on top. Put on top. Play master. We can also just time warp. Activate you again, get a free land, and then play Master, but that doesn't seem great. Like, the only creature that could have avoided um, Day of Judgment in such a way is Glenelinger Archmage, so. <laughs> oh. Two blue-white base control decks in a row. That's something. I mean, I feel like they just get Terrastid on, blow up our red source, our Nyssa, and maybe one of their own lands. Yep, that seems good. This, this, and this are going to be your targets, I presume. This. Just that. Just Nissa. Huh. Fascinating. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. We're definitely time warping here because I want to be able to hit a land for, in, for Primeval Titan. Not going to do anything about it, but. We did not, but oh, that's a good one too. Yikes. I am tempted to cycle this just to hit a land, but I think we can just naturally hit one. We've missed two, so I think we're actually okay here. Their deck actually doesn't have a tremendous amount of things. Like, a Johnny, Mind Control, and that's pretty much all we're really afraid of. Like, I don't care about Signets, Silk Wrap, and Marshall Coup are annoying. I don't know. So like four cards. Oh, I guess the creatures. We weren't counting the creatures either. Um, 
<clears throat> yeah, that's that's actually real obnoxious. No, it's not. We have three creatures in our hand. I thought that was actually counter triggered ability, and then I. We can also just master of the wild hunt this dude twice, which is pretty good. We lose a wolf, and then we don't lose a wolf after that. So return non land permits to its owner's hand. Sure. Blink of an eye is gone. That's weird because now we're free to do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. Uh, I am going to cycle this though because I definitely want to hit a land here. Oh, we could have cycled the persist. Oh god, I'm so bad at this game. We could have just denied them that, but I was there was a lot going on. Now I feel stupid, as I should. Throne is real good. Land is real good, but not the land we're looking for here. That is unfortunate, but not super. That's fine. We weren't going to attack into this guy. Oh, God, I could have stifled the whole thing. I'm not going to kick myself over a 1-1. One, one. Yes, I am. Well, now I just want to duplicate this guy. Um, what to do? Incinerate. Seagate Oracle. I would love to get a 9 9 out of this, but uh, I don't foresee that being a good play. So I feel like this is just going to last us a little bit longer. And if we hit a land, we can play Thrun and Seagate Oracle. If we don't, <laughs> we get to play Primeval Titan, so I think it's all fine. Probably going to chump block here. Taking nine just doesn't seem ideal. Oh, no attack. Fascinating. Gideon Jura did not see that in the deck. All right. Good to know. Oh, now that guy doesn't have to go anywhere. And we can just double double do the thing into this guy. And we're just going to 100% play Primeval Titan here. Let's get two more colored sources. Steam vent seems good. Stomping ground seems good. No. I said no. So they're going to presumably kill this guy with the Gideon because it's just very, very good for us. They only have three cards in hand, though. <sighs> that is a good one. That is what's known as a good one. Okay. Well, taking nine. Do we have a way to get rid of that in the main deck? Reclamation Sage, I believe? That would be great. Can we wreck Sage one time? Yeah, that's pretty brutal. I also wish we had a 3-3 that can just run into Gideon here, or because then they would block, and then we could... Come on, Rex Sage. Man, 
this game went from looking real good to real bad. Nope, didn't see you either. All right. <laughs> yep, that'll do. Next card's going to be Rex Sage. You ready? It was not. I don't even think. I don't know if we actually. I don't know if this was the Rex Sage deck. Yeah, and we had Beast Within. Multiple answers. Spell Pierce definitely coming in here. Uh, I also like Repeal to bounce our guys that they steal. I also like Spellskite for that purpose when they have multiple ways to steal our guys. Eh, we just actually just repeal is probably just better because if they bribery us, we can't Spellskite that. So, like they only we only saw one thing that really targets. <clears throat> I'm going to take out a Progenitor Mimic. Now that seems... I still want that if they have something. I'll take out the Incinerate. Incinerate doesn't seem great here. Man, wasn't that the game we had turn 2 Thorn Elemental, turn 3 Nissa? I think it was. This hand seems rough. It'd be better if we had not 6-drop, six 6-drop, six 5-drop, 4-drop, but also a blue source. Uh, this is keepable. Bottom you. Two 6-drops and a 5-drop, but we do have a Nissa to get through some of these, some of these hiccups. I worry this being our one loss. Come on. We're going to get a uh, breeding pool here so that we have the right colors. Sure. Uh, Thrun seems nuts. So let's go put you on top, put Thrun on top of that. And now we can go draw the Thrun, zero the Nissa, play the Thrun. Be the Thrun. And this is a little risky because they could just untap and play Day of Judgment. Um, but then they should be relatively tapped out, which means we could play Ral after that. And they're going to have to untap because that's not what you want to do with Sign. Oh, no, maybe not. Again, Terastodon. Yep, seems good. Oh, we can progenitor mimic the Terastodon. No, we can't. That's never going to happen. The dream is dead. I mean, ideally, they take like Primeval Titan, but. The dream is done. The dream is done. Oh, yes. <laughs> Such gas. I mean, I'm excited because we get to keep our lands. We still have to recover from this. Um, oh, God. Okay, I'm going to actually zero here and hope there's two lands on top. Land, land. <gasps> yes. Oh God, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh my God, what did you do? You done messed up, A.A. Eh, Ron? You done messed up, A.A. Eh, Ron? Wow, I think if we, if they got Terrastan on there, we'd be in such bad shape. Like you can kill one of your lands and then a land and a Nissa of mine. Um, that's annoying. We have duplicate, actually. This is fine if they don't have... Oh, God, they're going to have counterspell. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, I guess you're just... Are you not killing... Where are you, where are you going? I can't tell where you're going. You're killing Nissa. That's actually fine. We can't... We can we can trade a Thrun to keep Nissa at one, but what does that really do? 
land. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is nice because if they have Condescend as their counterspell, um, yeah, so I'm just going to pass here because I want to keep up Thrun and Duplicant to block. Wow, these swings, man. I don't even know what's happening right now. Here comes, oh, here comes Marshall Coup. Approach of the second sun. Wow. So, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sun. That's how it's going to go. Do we get to just untap and make a copy of Primeval Titan? What? This shuffles it back into your deck, though. All right, that's weird. I guess they could still Wrath here, which is pretty good for them. Oh, especially if we regenerate the stupid Thrun, but I want to get rid of... Ugh, God, I wish we had one more land. I know they're going to Wrath here. They have two cards. It's going to be Wrath something else. Oh, God. Uh, I guess we get to... Oh, they didn't do it? Are you kidding me? What kind of play was that nonsense? What in the earth... Oh my god, what is even happening right now? This game is nuts, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to Nimble Obstructionist because if they do play... Oh, my God. If they have Second Sun on top, we can just counter the ability. We can stifle the, the, the ability, right? Right? I don't think so, actually. Oh, maybe that doesn't work. I don't know. Oh, we just win the game. Wow. I have no idea what just happened. Have you had dinner yet? Yeah, I had dinner. It's like it's like 1 a.m., man. What are you, insane? What are you, what are you a maniac? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, nothing nothing on second sun is is triggered. <laughs> Why am I up so late? I'm I'm always up this late actually. There are rare situations where I'm not up this late. I actually do want the incinerate and the flame slash for the stupid sower of temptation comically enough. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe Nimble Destructionist can come out. God, Bribery is such a stupid card. Let's take out the Terastodon. Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. And then we're going to bring in the Flame Slash as well. Because they do have Monastery Mentor and Ojitai, which gets killed by Flame Slash. But Sower of Temptation against us is pretty good. I'm not thrilled about it. Well, I'm definitely going to keep this. I like Rex Sage a lot, especially because they have multiple signets. They have Celestia and Is It signets, and they have a sword, and they have a mind control and an oblivion ring. So, like, it has 900 targets. The dream is dying. To <laughs> redirect the sun trigger. Hey, can you uh, let me win the game instead? Mm, thank you very much. I'm tempted to Rex Sage this Signet. However, other cards are so much more powerful. I think we can wait. Like, if they go Mind Control on something, it's not going to be good for anybody. What is this? Are you going to play an... Yeah, whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is your one blue source right now. Maybe that's good enough. We also have Seagate Oracle, which we can just play here, which is probably correct. That's true. The Skype would win the game. So instead of my computer finishing some code, I'm like, there's no way Frank is streaming. I was, Kurt, don't you get notifications when I go live? I feel like that would be helpful for you, especially. And here we are. So we can Rex Sage and kill this, putting them back. Shut up and take my money. 
One, why are you streaming so late? How long have you been streaming? What have I missed? Was Mike here? How is his back? What did you have for dinner tonight? My birthday is in one week, Buck. Um, I had, okay, so I've been streaming for about three hours almost. Uh, what have you missed? A good amount. This is the second draft. Was Mike here? No. How is his back? Bad. What did I have for dinner? I had some vegetarian Thai with tofu. I had some pad CU. And happy birthday. Happy upcoming birthday. I will be there shortly after your birthday. Which is good times. Um, I super rest most. How dare you? Then how are we even friends? I'm afraid of playing this and then them going Gideon. I'm going to wreck Sage here. I just like this better. Because it keeps them off Gideon, so we can actually put something on the board without having to worry about keeping Spell Pierce up. And then next turn, if we draw blue, we can go Secret Oracle into Spell Pierce. I'm just hoping we draw blue, really. God, we're very good at this game. So we have all the lands. Oh, definitely taking Rally McZally here. Like, because we're looking at their deck, and they have Sword of Body and Mind, uh, Oblivion Ring, Mind Control, and those are all very, very strong. And Silk Wrap, all very, very strong plays. So I do like saving this guy for those. However, taking you off your only source of blue mana right now. Because it doesn't... Like, they have a Hollowed Fountain. They could search for Hollowed Fountain with Arid Mesa. But they did not. Ooh, but you did not. <gasps> That's exciting. So we can play QR, keep up Spell Pierce. Next turn, we can play Ral, keep up Spell Pierce. And then next turn, after that, we can play... That's exciting. Oh, wow. Can we make Krakens? I ate Carl's Jr. in Thailand once. That's like, that's kind of like having Thai for dinner. Yeah, that's basically the same thing. Because I work hard to make sure we're friends. <laughs> Kurt, are you buying my friendship? Is that what's happening? I feel like that's not. I love your energy, Randy. Seeing your great spirits. Um, I'm working on it. I'm trying to be. That's fine. I mean, I'm not. If I replay Kiora, that's not a big deal. Um. Yeah, that's fine. All these things are fine. I mean, we telegraphed pretty strongly that we have a spell pierce in hand, but. Steam vents doesn't untap. Sure. That's surprisingly obnoxious, actually. Talking away. I don't know what. What to say or say it anyway. So Nissa can go to what? One, two. We can play her for two, and then we put her up to four, and then they can attack and shoot. I don't think we care that much about that. I don't think we can keep Spell Pierce up this turn, though. I took four profits room. Of course I'm buying your friendship. Well, you know... This guy have Megamorph. I think it has Megamorph, right? This would be a 3-2. Could also just Ral Zarek, and then it's 3, 4, 5, 6, but then they lose that guy. I'm, I'm also afraid of them having Condescend. We can play around Condescend. <laughs> uh, 
Like we have four, we have three options here. This we tap out for, and we we expose ourselves to condescend, which is no bueno. This we tap out for, but it's we probably just probably just lose it anyway, right? We put her up to three, negate this, but then the, this guy hits for three. And then, or this guy hits for three, but then they lose a Johnny if they do kill the Kiora, so I actually think that's fine. I have two cards in hand. I bet one is a Martial Coup. This feels like a Martial Coup game. Okay, that seems fine. We get our blue back now. Marshall. Oh, approach the second sun. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, sun. Aggressive. B E aggressive. I think we're multi kicking for two. Playing Rao. And then we have a Rowl and a Time Warp. And Master is a pretty obvious choice there. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> Reaction's going on Pikachu and become mildly stunned emotionally. Wow, this uh, this Pikachu mode is, has garnered some, uh, some appreciation here. I'm a fan. They have one card in hand. Oh, my biscuits. This is also awkward because I'm like, I have to, you're shuffling your library if you play Primeval Titan, which is the best option, I believe. I think you guys can get duplicate, but that doesn't seem great. Yeah, obviously prime time. So that's irrelevant. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana. So we could play both of these and tick up Ral. Bloodbraid Elf, huh? One, two, three, four, five. We only have two blue, so we can't play both of these. We can play Master and then Time Warp. We could just play Bloodbraid Elf. No, we want Master because the next turn we can combine Master and Wild Slash. Yeah, that's good. Master. So we get to look at three more cards, which is super nice. We do want another island, which is great. Duplicant. Are you a duplicant or a duplicant? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm just going to eat six, six instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can play around us having... Ooh, that's insane. They can play around us having Spell Pierce anyway for the... They're probably going to flip this for the lifelink, but... Yep. Ten years... Oh, we should have done that first then. Ah, oh, that was bad. God, I'm so bad at this game. I try not to be, but it's really hard. It's a difficult game to be good at. You just gave them a free target. We got excited. I got excited about hitting the duplicate because it was a pretty elegant answer to uh, Primeval Titan. But hitting body and mind means we could actually mill the approach of the second sun and they have one card in hand. Or do they just they just top deck it? It's always a fear. I'm like, eh, did you hit it? Did you hit it? Is it? So we get to ultimate either one of these. 
ultimate ultimate rowl or ultimate sword by equipping it which is pretty good oh blink of an eye that's cute We also have a lot of mana. We could just ultimate Nissa too for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is for five. I guess we'll just do it for six because that's how the ultimate works. Is it untap? It untaps them, right? One, two. Oh, they have like one card in hand. All right, that's good. Getting in there with Master seems aggressive, but I don't think you have. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you have Settle the Wreckage. Got him. All right, so that was not. our loss, which I was not expecting. Alright. I have Cheez-Its. Nice to. <laughs> Cheez-Its are probably one of my top tier uh, like savory snacks. Crisp snacks. My reaction, who's eating all your Hungry Howie's leftovers? That just seems rude. The sandwich one reminds me of this Japanese book I bought that's just pictures of sandwiches. Are they only Japanese sandwiches or are they international sandwiches as well? Oh, this hand is garbage. This hand is great. It's a turn four, Ral. That's not... Maybe it's not that great. I don't know. Oh, we get to scry too. I mean, as far as as far as snacks go, Cheez Its have one of the less greasy residues. Sure, I'm thinking of Cheez Its. Those aren't greasy though. Those are just kind of powdery. Sandwiches of the world. A Bomat courier. Slowly learning that life is okay. Guys, listen, I'm going to be real with you. The sooner we end... One, two, three. The sooner we end this, this donation goal, the sooner I can start my December donation goal. And I think I think that's what we all really want. So let's stop pretending that... One, two, three, four, five, six. We are at seven next turn. Not enough. Heart subs, same. Okay, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of what's happening here. But we do have flame uh, things. We have fire, fire boys. What is he saying? Nobody knows. It's literal nonsense. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought it was scry. Oh, biscuits. Could still be okay. We're probably dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like it's exactly lethal for the RAL. Our sideboard is actually pretty well suited for this matchup with fire, spout, and pyroclasm. I just don't like that we're not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can also just play Terastodon next turn and make three dudes. Actually, that's pretty reasonable. And we can kill Koth and make actually we can kill Koth and make kill two dude make two dudes. Two dudes. Doo doos. Somebody needs to produce my idea of disposable paper towel gloves for eating greasy. <laughs> I like that idea a lot, actually. I go through a lot of napkins. So 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They might just deal us ten to the face if they're super feeling really aggressive. I doubt it though. Ral. 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 They don't attack with the Oh, they click the wrong mountain. That's amazing. This is nice. Is it alive? Or... I mean, we actually don't have to take two now. This now that this island came down. What happens if we progenitor mimic on Terastodon the turn, the turn after that? That seems good. So kill you, you and you. Would you like to use this ability? Yeah, I think so. I'll just kill all my permanents every turn. Just getting a 9-9. Nine -nine. Even if I choose not to use the ability, getting a 9-9 nine -nine every turn might be more than uh might be more than mono red can handle. Oof. I like we still have six mana even after destroying two of our permanents. That's a good that's a good time. Philip, did you email me? I don't want to miss it. So if you if don't forget, if you don't have to do it right now, obviously. You can do it whenever you want. It's your it's your life. I'm not your dad. I just want to remind you. No, like send me an actual email, like at my email address, not a Patreon message. Just because it's, I don't really check. My email should be literally in my Twitch profile. Anyway, it's Frank at Frank at franklapore.com. It's really, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually have seven mana. We can kill two more lands and still be in good shape here and still have five mana, which casts most of our things. It might not be my Twitch profile. I mean, I could be totally wrong. I don't think I am, though, but maybe. Either way. It's frank at franklaport.com. Super easy. Yeah, it's totally right there. It's under, it's under deck critiques and stipulation drafts. Message me on Twitch or email me at my email address. It's like you weren't even trying, Philip. It's like you weren't even trying. Honest question. What are some of the things you do when you're sick? Have a severe cold? What drinks do you like? What foods do you like? What activities uh, help ease your mind at that time? Um, When I'm sick, my favorite thing is probably just laying in bed watching, catching up on like shows that I have not uh, caught up on, so to speak. Uh, I think the odds of them having a... They could have, like, a shock here and kill this guy, whereas they're probably not going to have an 8 damage spell for that guy, so... Oh, man. That's actually funny, because it's we, we're one mana shy of just playing both. Um, Let's play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we'll not pay 2 there. Uh, I have good. I've heard good things about Maniac. So, do I copy something else? No, it's definitely Terastodon. It's definitely nine nine. That becomes bigger every turn. I'm gonna get rid of one island. I think I like having six because if we draw a Primeval, actually, what do we? What else do we have? Duplicate and Primeval Titan in the deck. One two three four five six. They have one two three four five six. We're at sixteen. Yeah, we can just get rid of one land here. I don't know how they beat nine nines every turn. 
against the red deck. Like, this can make a dude unable to block, but... There's no real foods that I'm... Or, or drinks that I'm super partial to. I'll literally just drink whatever. Whether it's, like, diet ginger ale or diet soda or just water. I rarely have juice juice in the house because it's... It's always, like, so calorically dense. It's, like, 140 calories for a glass of orange juice. I'm just like, eh, it's not really where I want to spend those. I like iced tea. I'm not a big fan of hot drinks. Philip, I got your email, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I know that was I know I made it more difficult than I should have, but Inferno Dad's a good dude. I mean, kills an elephant. This Bomai Curry is going to be some value. There's a Japanese man called Juice Juice. Why do you... Kerwin, you're, 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 your Japanese trivia is pretty funny. You just got to kill this guy, right? This doesn't do anything to kill anything else. I guess you can go face if you're really aggressive. You can't attack with this guy. Oh, wow, you went face. Oh, I'm impressed. Duplicate would be great here. All right, so no... No alpha yet. We do have to draw pretty well to, like, Keep, keep keep ourselves alive. We can also kill the Fertile Ground as well. We could have actually done that last turn. That's interesting. I would like to get rid of this Bomag Courier because drawing that many lands, or draw, drawing that many cards, rather, is pretty problematic. Um, one, two, three. I'm going to say no here. We're not going to get rid of anything because I'd rather just be able to play whatever we draw. That's amazing! Holy smokes. I really want to get rid of this Bomac Courier, he says, right before top decking the Reclamation Sage. That prevents our opponent from drawing five cards because they would have attacked with this guy and then activated the ability. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're attacking with a 9-9 nine -nine this turn. Maybe two 9-9s. Nine what do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I don't really want to attack with this good Terastodon because that is our... That's our key witness here. <sighs> Talking away. I have the AHA cover, not the cover, I guess, it's their song. The, the AHA acoustic version of uh, Take On Me stuck in my head. It's very good if you haven't heard it. I don't know if you guys are 80s fans or not. I don't know what, what to say, I say it anyway. Wow, I'm super stoked. I can't can't believe we hit this Rex Sage. For anybody who's still watching the magic portion of our show. Wait, hold on. If this isn't a token, right? Okay. I was like, wait, it doesn't just grow exponentially, right? We just get one a turn. Wow, that Rex Sage was choice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. This guy's can shoot off. That's nah, actually fine. It gets rid of one blocker. 
Inferno gets rid of another, but we don't actually care about like these three creatures we're not, we're not too concerned with, so. I mean, we can easily go to eight and kill an Inferno Titan here, which is totes fine, as the kids say. Can you hit those high notes? Talking away. Uh, no, maybe. I don't know. Take hold me. I'm just going to block you here. And then we're just going to have a lot of things here. I don't know if I kill another land here. One, two, three, four. I like that we're actually at six, but I think we can maybe go to five. Maybe. Kill a stomping ground. I think we're good right now. I don't think we have to do it. Uh, Terastanon is non-creature permanent. Otherwise, it would be utterly insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. Two, three, four. Five, six. Tap out for this because ain't no reason not to do that. Scry two. So she is lethal next turn. We're going to keep the duplicate on the top. Actually, we'll put this on the top, and then we'll put Duplicate under that so that we can draw it if they don't happen to kill our Nyssa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Automatically taking 3, so we're at 6. They could make one guy able unable to block, but that's one less threat. Two of these threats we don't care about. Three of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Don't actually care about you either. So we care about one, two, three, four threats. Not, not really concerned about this guy either. Uh, we're definitely just getting in there with one Terastodon here. No block. All right, well. Another land. That's actually totally fine. Uh, we kill you with Nissa next turn, right? Actually, they're really close to just killing us with this Thopter. Oh, I see. So they're probably going to mentor onto this guy. And they're going to deal us three. So this is three, four, five. Whenever your creature leaves the battlefield, it does one damage. Oh, so we're basically dead because they chose dragons. That's actually an insane draw. Yep. And we're going to six. And we're going to three. Yeah, that was an utterly insane draw. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Uh, Rosie O'Donnell, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Whenever a creature you control these battlefield deals one damage to any target. And that is pretty bad. So we're at six. We're taking three automatically. So we're at three. I wish our creatures were smaller. have to block you is there a way out of this I don't think so man that's brutal uh, actually we can just block you there what if we, what if only our creatures leave the battlefield is that possible mm, don't think so yeah, yeah we're just gonna take three either way yep that's the end all right I mean this is a hard game to hang on to I felt like we were doing it but you know inferno Titan into Outpost Siege was not ideal. Duplicate would have been good, but it was a little too late for that. Pyroclasm and Fire Spout definitely coming in. Flame Slash also coming in. We're just going to go Heavy Red here. We're going to take out the Briber. Actually, they have Inferno Sight, and Briber could be good. I don't think it's worth it, though. I don't know what else they would have. Terastodon can come out. Spell Skite could be good. Spell Pierce could be good. I'm going to submit like this. I think this could be fine. What are your thoughts on not hitting your lands? Uh, we had two six drops in our deck, one of which was a duplicate. So I'd rather not kill my own 
options to play spells. And we just didn't need blockers at that point unless they were going to go wide. Uh, unless they were going to attack us, rather. But they, like, they weren't in a position where they win the game if they go wide. Especially, like, even then, like, even at the last position, like, more three threes wouldn't have helped us because we would have just died to their their outpost siege triggers. Like, we win the long game there 100% of the time if they don't have something like deal take damage equal to all the all the guys that die. But we just don't need to kill our lands and, and prevent ourselves from playing our spells in the future because they're just three threes. So Can't stay late, just want to say hi and wish everyone some good gaming. Also, are you done with the Jigarian drafts? Uh probably. I, unless I draft it on uh arena, I like they're gonna they're loading us up with cubes for the next two months, so I can't foresee us going back to do a GRN draft. There's just no real appeal to that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Thank you. And I will play first. I will keep this hand. It's a little iffy, but... What are you getting here? Steam vents? I want a second blue, and I also want a red, for sure. Have a good night, Rosie O'Dell. If that is your real name. Doubt it. Let's get this guy out of here and get a steam vent. Oh, uh, I think drafting is kind of boring. Wow. I mean, that's... I don't think it's worthy of hurting you. But that's funny because a lot of my content is draft-based, so... This guy should go up to three and then she just dies on board. Yep. Idol on the Great Revel is a good card. I will 100% block it with Nimble Obstructionist if you let me. Uh, Now I will definitely do it because... I'm going to pay a blue, because that seems like a better way to do this. Take the damage. Block the dude. Hmm. Goblin Rabble Master on board is frustrating, but we can play Sky Sovereign next turn. We can also stack our deck in such a way. We have six lands, so I'm not super excited about lands here. I would like to just... Uh, put you on the bottom. I'll put you on top. Uh, eh, yeah, that's fine. It's better than nothing. So we're also going to play Sky Sovereign to kill this guy next turn. We are going to take a good amount here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not including anything they play. So we go to seven, and they still have three guys left on board. Yeah, this is our this is our death. I mean, alternatively, we could have looked for, like, pyrocla fire, fire spot or Pyroclasm, but... Oh, I guess we're taking four less, because they're probably going to kill this Nyssa. So that's not terrible. Oh, they didn't kill our Nyssa. Oh, now I'm tempted to time warp here, because it gives us an extra turn to find things, and we get to look at, like, five cards. That's fascinating. Oh, wow. Are you just, are you just dead? <laughs> um, Scry 2. Flame Slash and Elvish Mystic. Bottom. I guess we don't get to look at five cards, because we're going to time warp here. And then we're gonna look at more things. We're gonna we're not gonna be able to draw those cards. Kiora. Kiora, Kiora. Maybe when you talk like that. So we're basically dead, right? We take two, three, four from this guy. If 
feels Batman. Um, bottom both of these again. I mean, if they don't have a hasty guy, I guess we survive for a turn. Because we take four. Yep, and we're dead. Why? Just like, what is that about? Why play this one immediately? Oh, because it's a sorcery? Sure. Whatever. Anyway frustrating but not the worst thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons you can hit the bell as well you get notifications whenever new content shows up which is daily and uh, you can also check me out on patreon and twitch links are in the description below check out the description below and you can also check me out at meundies.com slash frank lapore you'll get 15 percent off of the most comfortable micromodal underwear socks onesies tees lounge pants whatever you guys want they're there check it out 15 percent off free shipping free returns it's a great way to support the stream uh you get something it, I get I get something out of it. Everybody wins. And uh, you need it anyway. You know you need underwear. But thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. And uh, thanks for the support.